Good morning, guys. It is Monday, July 20th, and it is just shortly after 9 a.m., and we are getting ready to leave Clarny Mountain Lodge, and we are going to head over to um, Covered Portage Cove, which is how many miles? Four. Four oh. miles. So it shouldn't be a long trip, just pretty short. We're going to anchor there for the day. Not too sure how long we'll stay there. Um, we went over to the little bakery coffee shop thing that they have here. What was that place called? Curds and Way. Curds and Way. And we got some cinnamon buns for breakfast. And we're going to quickly get a pump out and we'll be on our way. So we uh, went over to cover Potage today, but uh, it was really busy. Um, couldn't find a spot to anchor that uh, we were okay with. Probably could have squeezed in and, you know, been those annoying people that uh, squ squeeze between a couple boats. Um, so we picked an anchorage that is just outside of cover Potage Cove that somebody has let us know. Um, somebody called it what? Honeymoon Bay? Honeymoon Cove. Honeymoon Cove or something. So that's where we are. Um, we're the only boat in here because that's about all that can fit here unless you want to raft together. Um, it's actually a really nice spot. Uh, the wind has picked up quite a bit. We are just barbecuing dinner. Um, this is the view behind the boat. And we are tied to land. Cover is just over there. And here's Lex. Hi. She is texting like she does the best. Yeah. <laughs> and she's working. She's working on vacation. And she is coloring. That's her pastime, to color. She's selling prints right now for 500 bucks a piece. If anybody wants to buy anything. <laughs> well, I'm just going to finish uh, making dinner. And uh, maybe we'll take a ride over to Cover Potage later. Right, Lex? Yeah. All right. Leaving uh, Clarney Mountain Lodge, uh, we went over to Covered Portage Cove, as we just mentioned earlier. Um, so this is the way we took. Um, coming out of Killarney Channel, uh, we came up past uh, the east side of uh, Sheep Island and over to Covered Portage Cove. Uh, we did discover that it was um, extremely busy, uh, so we anchored I'll show you over here. Let me just zoom in. Um, this is where we decided to anchor. Um, and that's where we spent uh, a night there. And then we moved over to Cover Portage Cove after that.
morning. It is. What day is it? Tuesday. Tuesday, July 21st. Tuesday, July 21st. It's supposed to be hot and sunny all day, which is fantastic. Um, we are sitting just outside of Cover Portage Cove right now in this little bay. Um, right now, right now our plan is to move into Cover Portage Cove. Um, to the back part of the bay. So I'm going to sit there for today and tomorrow. We're supposed to get a bunch of rain tomorrow, so it's a good place to kind of just hang out and then head over to the Little Current on Thursday. Just a quick update, we have made it over to Carver Potash Cove. We've been here for about a few hours now. Yeah. Um, we've done some lunch. Uh, it was quite busy when we got here, but uh, being such a calm day, a lot of boats have left. Um, so yeah, we'll show you a little clip of the bay.
so here we are on the boat <laughs> in Carvertage Cove. <laughs> Somebody here has had too many Long Island iced teas. I've only had this one. Okay, well, how many did you? That's too many. Well, that sounds. Mm -hmm. I had to move your glasses to take a sip there, did you? <laughs> so, I feel like if this part wasn't here, this would actually look good as a fashion statement. Like, you know, those like hippie headbands. Yeah, so guys, why don't you tell us what you think of her fashion statement? Guys? Or females? Just like the pillar of people, like just you guys. Hi guys, so it is, what did you say what time it was? 6.30. After 6, 6.30. And we are headed to Herbert's. Yeah. Herbert's for a fish and chips dinner. Um, obviously, we just showered. I mean, you can tell by my hair. Um, we are going to go get dinner. I don't know why I'm repeating myself. <laughs> but yes, that's where we're headed. Where is Herbert's located? In Clarny? In Clarny, yeah. um, in Clarny. So we were just there. I don't know if we ended up getting a shot of, of like downtown. I don't think we did. Clarny or not, but that's where it's located. And um, the other day we did Gillies, which was also fish and chips. But apparently, what are, are, are we at the point where Gillies is better or Herbert's? Is better? Well, we'll tell you after we eat there. I guess we'll tell you. I have never had Herbert's before, and I had Gillies for my first time the other day. So this shall be interesting. But we will update you as we go. Gillies. No, Herbert. Oh wait, yeah, we made it to Herbert. We made it somewhere anyway. There's Lex eating a fry. Um, as you can see, there probably is not much food left. Um, it was good. Not as good as Gillies. But, Sorry to say well, there you go. I guess there's a spoiler. It's not as good as Gillies. No. I was gonna try to make like a bit of anticipation, build some anticipation for everybody. Oh, sorry. Excuse but, me. Uh, Excuse me. well, no, we're not going to redo it. It is what it is. So, not much food left, but here, here is the place. So this is Herbert's Fisheries. There's our dinghy tied up to the wall. Definitely recommend if you're in Clarny it's good. to come check it out. The food really is great. Just don't eat Gillies first. Because yeah, if you, you, if you eat Gillies first, you might, uh, yeah, you might get higher expectations. We should have got ice cream. There's like no line. No, you're not feeling well. I'm feeling fine. No, you're not feeling well. If you can't have an alcoholic drink, that means you ain't feeling well. I can have an alcoholic drink. I just think I've had enough for today. It's called uh, calling my limit here. It's called what? Calling my limit. Knowing your limit? Sure, that too.
It's uh, Wednesday right now. Uh, it's been raining all day. What is the date today anyway? It's the 22nd. So it's Wednesday the 22nd. Uh, we've had rain pretty much all day. Um, wind has picked up a little bit, but overall we're still sitting here in uh, covered Portage Cove. Um, if you hear the radio in the background and all the chatter going on right now, there has been a mayday. Um, I guess a gentleman on a 27-foot sailboat, by the sound of it, um, had a medical emergency. We're not quite sure what happened or what's going on, but there are boats that are out looking for him. Um, no, nobody seems to have found the boat yet. Um, but yeah, you can hear the chatter going on right now on the radio. Um, so I think from what it sounds like, there's a few boats looking to see, you know, where the person is and what's going on. Um, basically what we've made out from, uh, you know, listening to the conversations on the VHF is that, uh, possibly he's alone on the boat, um, and his blood sugar sounds like it was dropping. Um, and he was having trouble reading... Uh, I guess his GPS screen to let let the Coast Guard know exactly his location um, But it does sound like he was over at Clapperton Harbor uh, eastbound towards Little Current uh, Unfortunately, we are way west of Little Current right now about 20 25 miles west of Little Current um, So we are unable to assist otherwise we'd probably head out and see uh, See if there's anything that you know we could do and look to try to locate the vessel, but we can't um, so instead, we have to stay put and kind of hope that uh, the guy is found and everything's okay. If we hear anything else, I guess we'll update you later in the video. So I have an update on uh, the situation with the sailboat. It sounds like the OPP was able to locate the sailboat and the gentleman on board uh, and they assisted um, sounds like they brought him back to uh, Little Current so everything I guess worked out okay um, the other boats that were in the area were asked uh, to stand down and the mayday call is over so that uh, pretty much concludes uh, everything that we've heard going on this morning mm -hmm.